Hey everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 73 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last time, we beat Twin Mold in the most epic battle of our lives, and now we're going to go back and get the freaking Giant's Mask. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe I missed that so many freaking times. I, I had like three different opportunities that I could have gotten that, and I passed all three up. It's right here. I walked past it like a million times. What the heck, dude? What the heck? Well, <laughs> we're getting it now. And I probably will show the Twin Mole battle with this giant's mask at some point. Yeah. Jeez, how could I have missed that? It looks so cool, too. Within this last mask lies the might of a giant, but can you use its power anywhere? Uh, only in the Twin Mole battle, sadly. But seriously, Jeepers Crow, man. That's just insane. I missed that so many times. And people in the comments were just like shouting at me in in text form. form. They were shouting at me just like, go get it you stupid fuck! And I was shouting that myself in editing too, but I couldn't. I just couldn't do it. Oh well. Alright, so now that we're finally done with the stone tower and we'll never have to come back here again except when I want to show the fight against Twin Mold again with the Giant's Mask. Um, there is one more thing I would like to do in this cycle, and it's actually still in Iconic Canyon. There is one more heart piece that we can get in here. And it's actually one of the last four heart pieces, well, I guess technically, well, yeah, one of the last seven heart pieces. Wait, one of the last eight heart pieces, dude, I can't get that right. One of the last eight heart pieces in the game. So, let's go get it. And this one's actually kind of boring, so I might cut some of it out. But you never know. Alright, so once we're here, just gotta go ahead and hop down. Take a dive! Whoa! And instead of, like, going on shore, we're actually gonna swim up river here. Should probably use the Zoros mask or something, but who cares? And there's a little bit of a secret cavern here. I don't know if that unlimited magic will come in handy at all. You know, I should try the great fairy sword in this part. Because we're gonna be doing some battles here that are kind of tough. But we've already fought them before, so it'll be kind of interesting. What's in this hole first, though? We got the Deku Baba thing and Rupee Chest. Awesome. Ah, oh, like I need any more rupees. I got 150. Whoa, okay. Bomb Chew. Jeez, that's like the first Bomb Chew pickup I've gotten in this game, I think. In this LP, I mean. Man, <laughs> has it really been taken me that long? 73 parts to get Bomb Chew? That's crazy. That is more, that is way more than it should ever take anyone to find that item. Alright, so here we have this secret shrine, which isn't so secret anymore. And you got like a bean plot thing here. And that's just to get those rupees. I don't know why would you want them. There's only like, they're only green rupees. I mean, what, like really? Green rupees at this point? But we do got a stun here, so you can't really do this without light arrows since there's no light streaming in. And now it opens at a weird angle. Cool. Hey, it has like the letter Z on it. Or is that a snake or something? What is that? It, it has, it's like a dragon thing eating a heart. I don't know. Dude, don't pause. Come on. Get your button straight here. Oh, hello. I wonder if this is the same guy we saw before who looked like this. It seems somehow you have managed to find Icona's wandering spirits into peace. But outside of Icona, there are still swarms of wandering spirits and lingering regrets. The ones in this room want to meet you again, and have been waiting for quite a while. Go see them if you feel like it. I'm sure they will welcome you. Hehehe. <laughs> cool. Alright, so basically we got four different... Oh, wow. We got four different passages we can take here. One on the left, and two, two down the middle, and one on the right. And at the end of each of these, there's going to be kind of like a boss fight, but there, it's basically a rematch against all the mini-bosses from all the temples. So, we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Wait, what the heck are those? Um, t I don't even know what to make of that. That that could be a mask, or it could be like a heart with three holes taken out of it. T it looks like something you would kind of make in kindergarten, you know, like those old paper crafts. Where you just like fold up some paper and then like cut holes in it or something. Alright, so here's from, I guess, Woodfall Temple, the mini-boss, the Dynalphos, or Lizalphos, whatever they are. Uh, they're not too bad now. Oh, wait, I can use my great fairy sword. Yes. Let's just destroy them. <laughs> I killed them all in one hit. 
With one fatal blow from my black rose sword. Alright, what is that? Is that my heart piece already? That would be really nice. Uh, somehow I doubt it though. Yeah, just a hundred rupees. No big deal. I'm, bu I'm gonna lose them all when I reset, because I'm gonna reset pretty much right after this. Because after this, there's only really one more side quest left to do in the game. But it's gonna take quite a while to do that side quest, so... Can't wait for that. Alright, and down this hallway, we should have the Snowhead Temple miniboss, which was what again? Oh, the frickin'... <laughs> We've seen this guy enough already. Well, at least it, this is the blue one this time, so I guess this is special. Seriously, this is like the sixth time we fought him by now, at least. Oh, man. I should have had him there. Oh, I don't even have a map this time, so I can't tell where he is or where he's going to appear. Slash him! Oh, I totally had that. I don't care what you say. Stop laughing at me. Oh, jeez. You're laughing like peeves. Okay. Uh, where are you? Oh, I'm not going to get that. Dude! He's kicking my ass. Yeah, I might end up cutting some of these out, because we've already fought all these mini-bosses before anyways. So, there's really no point showing it unless something funny happens. Man, I can't... I can't, like, locate him at the last second. Okay, there he's gonna be over there. Just wait for him. And go! Yes. Jeez, I wonder how much a jump attack with this sword would do. Oh, I hit him with that? Wow. It actually goes far enough to, into the platform to hit him. Oh, now he's gonna run away. Alright, let's do it. Where are you? Seriously? Oh, he's over there. He's over there. Get him! Ow, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. What? The? I wasn't even standing on it that time. Okay. Yes! Oh, that killed him. Wow. Alright, so, use the Great Fairy Sword and the jump attack, I guess. It's the lesson learned there. I'm not gonna pick that up. Well, actually, I will, because I don't know. You might have to actually open all these chests for the heart piece to count. Somehow, I don't think that's how it's gonna work, but... I'm just gonna do it. Just to possibly save time later. Man. This place reminds me of the final area of Okami. But not nearly as epic. Uh, oh man. Jumped right in the water there. Took a sploosh. A sploosh. Okay. Oh, you need to shut up now. Alright, and down this way I think. This will be the mini boss of the water temple. Great Bay Temple, whatever. Um, oh, but which one? There's like two of them. I know which one this is now. Crap! I don't want to fight you again. I beat you with a quarter of a heart remaining last time. That's That wasn't funny. Well, I have double defense this time, so what now, biatch? Okay. Uh, do I have enough, enough arrows to deal with this guy? Maybe I can just like slash him. Rawr! Oh, well, that doesn't do any extra damage to those guys, so, whatever. Well, you know, I have unlimited magic, so I might as well just use light arrows. It might do more. I mean, get, like, get rid of more of them at a time. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, this sucks. Get over here. Die. Die. Oh, yeah, this is actually a pretty boring battle, so I'll probably end up cutting some of this. I wonder if I could use bomb shoes on him. That'd be interesting. Oh, hit him. His eyes open. Just spam arrow. Yes, I got him. Once. Sweet. There better be arrow refills in this room in the grass or something. Oh, his hearts. That's nice. Not really. Oh, his, his eyes open. Hit him. Yes. Come on. Just fire. Spam. Spam. Oh, man. Uh, oh, I'm out of arrows, too. Wow. Okay. Man. Oh, no. I'm, now I have ten more. Well, ten's better than none. Oh, dude. Jeez. I'm still kind of wondering what I would have done if I had actually run out of arrows in that twin mole battle. But I managed to beat him in the most epic manner possible. With one arrow remaining. Or with my last arrow, I mean. So with zero arrows remaining. Alright, I'm just going to wait for him to open it again. Yes. Go, go, go. Oh. Okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> I thought I wasn't going to hit him there for a second. I really did. Boom. Man, I love the way that thing just destroys those things. It's such, got such a big reach. Okay. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh, man, I don't care what anyone says. I had him. I had him by the ball face there. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want a heart. 
Yes, that's exactly what I want. Awesome. Uh, I don't know. I think someone in a comment I remember reading one time said you can hit this guy with the hook shot. Or maybe I actually did that in my first battle with him. I'm not sure. Regardless, it's definitely not the funnest battle ever. Wait, he, there's an opening. Open your eye. Yes, perfect timing to open your eye. Well, I guess it was actually pretty bad timing to open your eye for you. Ow. Alright, doesn't look like I'm going to beat him with a quarter of a heart left this time. Thank God. That was still really fun, though. Okay. Yeah, I know you can hear my control, like... Oh, you can hear the control stick just, like, spinning around there because I'm trying to do spin attacks. And you can't actually hold down the button with this sword to do spin attacks, which is kind of bad. Whatever. Okay, open your eye, seriously. I think I can actually hit him with my sword if he opens his eye. And if I have good enough timing. Jeez. Oh, man. Alright, let's go find some arrows, because this is not working. This is definitely not working. We get him! Yes! Yes! Come on! Yes! Sweet. I killed Wart with my sword. Do you believe that? That's awesome. That is very, very awesome. Jeez, I can't get over the look of those, like, hanging heart mask things. Those are just ridiculous looking. Hmm. And it looks like they, like these little, like, shrines here, they have the same design as the door does. I don't know what that's supposed to be at all. Is that supposed to be, like, the ultimate mini-boss that we never get to see in the entire game? That would be epic. I don't know, right now it just looks really stupid, though. Alright, so there's one more guy to deal with. Uh, one more bitch to process. Okay. So, let's get back up over here. Man, what's the point of all this water? I don't know. I guess this is just to make it epic. This reminds me of Super Mario 64 and like Wet Dry World. And we got here Fossil Stone Tower, or Mini Boss. It's the Garo Master again. So we're not going to try and block him this time. Ow. We're going to actually hit him with our Great Fairy Sword, though. Okay, if we can actually dodge, though, that would be nice. And. Oh, he's coming. Oh, crap. Oh, yes. Sweet. Oh, yeah. I forgot he does that crappy thing there. That poopy thing. Boom. Oh, yeah, I can't block with this thing, though. Hey. Yes, he's dead. Wow. That was fast. That was way faster than war. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> I forgot he did that. Uh, he didn't even give a speech as a warning this time. Well, whatever. And it looks like our wallet is going to be full now. With a little excess to spare. So, let's just go ahead and put that back in there. Uh, it's like a tip. We can give that as a tip to the ghost man. Okay, and now he's back here. Yee hee you are really an amazing person, Argon. Oh, thanks, I, th I get comments like that all the time, honestly. It seems you've somehow managed to heal their souls. Without the Song of Healing, that's kind of amazing. You don't really do that too much in this game. But I guess using a sword is just because he's using a Song of Healing. Okay, that was really stupid, but whatever. We got the chest, so let's go open it. Oh, I should have hookshot to that, that would have been cool. Because the hookshot is the best way of travel ever. Alright, and this should be... I think this is the first heart piece towards a new heart container, so... Yep. Now, three more to go until a new heart can... Wow! <laughs> he fell and caught that. That's amazing. And what time are we up to now? That's 14 minutes, and that's if I don't cut anything. So, is there anything else I can do in, like, such a little amount of time? Um, I'm trying to think. Think, think, think. Think quick! Well... I don't think so. So, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and end it off here with an Octorok hitting me in the face. Okay. Thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night. Bruh, I'm so big!